Well, I'm having an in-depth discussion today about lenient sentences that some people feel are just discretionary that judges are giving out because of what their personal values are. I think we're learning a lot about that today. Sometimes things don't happen for the apparent reasons. What I, what I guess I don't get, Dr. Phil, is why people aren't as upset about the real harsh, severe sentences that are imposed particularly on young men of color where they're sent away for life and nobody gets upset. I, I pulled a few examples of just exactly that. Michael Fitzgerald Wilson in 1994 was sentenced to life without parole as a first-time non-violent drug offender in California. 1997, Donald Allen was just 20 years old when he was sentenced to two life without parole sentences for conviction on conspiracy and possession charges in Florida. Two life sentences. 2018, Dayon Davis was sentenced to five years in prison and 10 years probation for stealing a pair of black and white Nike Air Jordan 5s from a buddy. The shoes were valued at $180. He's doing five years in prison and 10 years probation. These are all young men of color. And what we're talking about here with rapists that get three months, no time, walking out, but then these young men of color are in for life. It's outrageous, absolutely outrageous. And yet, those are examples of which I could give you 10 more, absolutely. but those are absolutely. pretty good examples. Yeah, but we don't, hear, we don't hear the public outcry. We don't hear Professor Murphy saying, you know, what's the deal with those judges? Why are these young oh, men being sentenced no, away? Don't. We don't hear that. Go ahead, Mindy. I want to be clear. We are on the same page, Judge. I am, I am absolutely but, speaking out when I see disproportionate numbers of black men behind bars for drug offenses. That is just as offensive, constitutionally and otherwise, as giving no jail time for these horrendous rapists well, we've been talking about Judge, today. There certainly needs to be an adjustment in the value system, and Taylor is a perfect example of it, letting her perpetrator walk into the school with her, come out of a classroom right across from her. I'm very sorry that you had to contend with that. It's enough to go through what you went through and then have to then contend with that perpetrator again is absolutely unfair to you. It's unfair to you mentally, emotionally, psychologically, behaviorally. It's, it, it just kind of reopens the wound all over again. Now, we reached out to Niagara Wheatfield High School, uh, the superintendent, uh, Daniel Lilanich, uh, for a statement, but we have not received a comment as of this taping.